Before going on to the third speaker, let's have a short video from our sponsor, MAPI. Eighty years ago, a group of men marked out a path, which today is the path to success. These men are still revolutionizing the building world. Playing their part in the construction of small and large-scale works, from private homes to the conservation of our historical and artistic heritage. In MAPE, research is a fundamental cornerstone in order to support this progress, adapting to suit increasingly ambitious and complex projects helping to make the thoughts behind evolution a reality. Because without research, there cannot be quality. Quality, which is a living part of each and every one of our products, and which has enabled us to become a reference point and a constant guarantee of success for all our clients and partners. Because only with quality is it possible to guarantee solutions with the capacity to actually change the way we construct and think. Organizing seminars and training courses, workshops and conventions every year for all our professionals from the sector. With a more eco-sustainable outlook to help safeguard the environment. Because quality can never disregard ethics. Ours is a code of ethics which openly declares who we are and what we believe in. Our love for sport, an aggregator of culture based on values and commitment. Our love for art ensures we are attuned to global communications. We are proud to be at the forefront where our own history is the future. A future that we can already reach out to and touch. This is us. We are Mappé. We are now moving on to our third speaker for this morning. Let me first introduce her. Hatama Ronrakri was born 1968 in Bangkok. She finished her architectural education at Silpakorn University, Bangkok, and completed further studies in development practice under the guidance of Sandep Oxford Brooks University. In 1997, she founded Community Architect for Shelter and Environmental, CASE, a group of Thai architects with central interest in alternate dwelling visions. Its major concerns lies in the relationship between dwelling and physical, cultural, as well as social economic context. Both the physical environment and the human elements of the place are considered vital to case working mentality. Patama has received several local and international recognitions, including Young Architect with Outstanding Work from the Association of Siamese Architects under Royal Patronage in 2004, TIDA Award and Silpathon Award, High Young National Artist Award in 2010 and Women Who Make a Difference Award from Thailand Tatler Magazine in 2012, Excellence Award for Architects from the Association of Siamese Architects under Royal Patronage, Honourable Mentions at 
Art Vision Prize in 2015 in Italy and Global Award for Sustainable Architecture in 2016 in France. Without further ado, let's welcome our third speaker, Patama Runrakwi from Case Bangkok. I'm so excited, <laughs> still nervous. Hello everyone and thank you Doma for inviting me here. It's my, how to call that? It's honor to be here. It's my first trip abroad after three years locked in my country. <laughs> so very happy. All right. Today I will share some of my works with you. I will. I have been working with the with the urban poor communities for like a for long time. I started to work with uh, slum community in 1995. So I don't know how long. It's quite, it's very long. Anyway, so. <laughs> So I, I will share with you some of my my projects, uh, and I will go through this uh, through this um, how to call that uh, through um, important keywords that usually found in uh, community work. So I will start from a family. So when you work with a community or work with people, work in a society, I always tell my student when they ask me that where should we start from and I always tell them that start from a family. So, so nervous. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh. So, this is a family uh, portrait. This family, actually it's my family. But I don't want to show you my whole, you know, the real family. So this is my, my family portrait. So you can guess who is, who is me. You know? So this family comprises of three generations. Uh, my mother, who is a grandmother of the house, uh, she is 88 this year. And my brother's family, and um, he got married and got two kids. I myself and my sister. So you can see that, uh, you know, so many age different. So the problem, the problem started when we had to move to another house before we live in the same compound in a different, different house. So my, my brother, got a house, I got a house, my mother and my sister got another house. So we, we live in a separate house in the same compound, but somehow we had to move. So as an architect in a house, in a family, so I was responsible to design a new house. So as you can see, we got so many memories in, in, in these houses. And uh, the, the most difficult, uh, difficult one is that, uh, it's just, okay. Ah, it disappeared. Anyway, I try to, okay. You can see this house in the middle, this one. This one is a wooden house, actually built by my, my grandfather. And my mom insists to move this with us. So not only us, all the stuff, no, we need to move a house to, to the new house. So uh, what I try to do is that uh, this is the plan the, 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 during the design process. You can see that we not only the house that we move, all the element of each house, like a, a door, window frames or whatever, or even all the furniture from different period, you know, very old furniture up to like a, 
nowadays furniture. Some furniture I really hate it, you know. My mom always buy like a, you know, you know that solid wood thing, you know, very popular in in Thailand with all the parents, you know, have this kind of furniture and we have to move that. So when we do the design, we have to, to take this, you know, in con consideration uh, to design a new house. And uh, this is the old, the old house that we need to move. It's a, more or less like a traditional Thai house and it's almost 100 years old. So my mom insists, so I have to, to, to move it. Uh, so to move the Thai house is not that difficult because it's like a, it's in a, how to call that, prefabricated system. So you just knock it down into pieces and then put it back. So this is when we move to the new house. So this, this house become a heart of the new house and full of memory and also a memorial for my grandfather who built this house. So you can see, it's very old, it's very old. So we protect, we protect, I don't know how to call him. I don't want to call it, you know. We, we, we protect him by, you know, just, just put some, some fence we call cloth, you know, uh, to protect this house from, from uh, extreme weather in, in Thailand. And also to, to make this like a, a can be, how to call that, get along with other buildings, other parts of the house also. So as you can see this. And another thing is that we use a lot of old material from the new, uh, from, from the old houses. For example, like uh, if you can see all this, uh, sorry, sorry, I put the wrong button. Uh, now it's gone too far. Okay. <laughs> so, so all the wooden thing here are uh, second hand. I, I don't know how to do that. We move, we move from the old house, all, all, all houses, you know. And uh, this is part of um, the new house comprised of uh, three parts, uh, the, the house and the common space and the office because all of us work at home. So good, no? So you have office at home. So this is the place that we, how to call the, the, the connection uh, between the house zone and the office zone. So in the middle of this is the, the common area. And because we got, I, I got so big families actually, so we need to have a place that can accommodate like a tw at least 26 people when we got a family meeting, not meeting, party, something like this. Huh? So this is the, the entrance for the, for the house zone, house part. And this is the interior, some of the interior in the house. You, so you can see that we use all the, the, uh, what, the old, the old uh, furniture. So we we don't throw anything away. We just use the old, old furniture. The, oh God, okay. So I try to use this. This this, <laughs> sorry, it doesn't work. Sorry. Okay, anyway, so that's the old furniture. And this is another, another way. Also the, the stair, the wooden stair also from, from the old house. And this is also in the common area that we, we use uh, for like a, when, when we have like a community gathering together to have like a meeting or a, you know, party or something like this. You you use this ugly, you know, <laughs> dining table that I cannot throw away because my mom will complain a lot, so I have to put this here. And this also because my my sister is a piano teacher, so we need to have a, a piano here. And this is another part. This is the the office part of 
of my house. So on your left here is my office. Downstairs is my office. Upstairs is my brother's office. And uh, behind that stairs is my, my, uh, my sister's, how to call that, music room, music studio. And this is upstairs and uh, from, from my, uh, my brother's office. So you can see in the back there is the old house that cover, uh, how to call that, protected by this wooden screen. All the, the wooden elements, even the, the furniture, are all from, from the old houses. There's also another view, this one. So you cannot see the, uh, the, the old house inside. And this is, but you can see at nighttime if we switch on the light, so you can see the, the old house inside. So it's just hidden in something. Also, the, uh, the, the entrance gate, also we move from the old houses also. So what we try to, to, to do with this house is like uh, we try to encourage. Um, in, in the housing zone, in, in the house zone, we, 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 we design a very, very small space for everyone, like uh, the bedrooms, everyone's bedrooms. is very, very small, so we try to encourage everyone to use, uh, how to call it, to spend time outside that room, so like uh, spend time together. Yeah, so you can see, you can see there, it's quite clear on, on your right hand side, is the house zone. In the middle is a kind of common space and a memorial for, uh, for my uh, grandfather. And on your left is the working space, is the office. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so the first project is passed. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So the next word, a community. This is another crazy thing that I'm doing now, and it doesn't make any profit. <laughs> Especially the last two years of COVID, almost bankrupt now. <laughs> and my friends keep asking me, why are you doing this? So I said, I don't know. <laughs> and the number of ducks and chicken is increasing. So it's called uh, Minoburi. It's from Minburi. And our friend's hometown in Mino, Osaka. I, I, I don't have to explain it, but if you want to know, you can ask me later. No? But it's called Minoburi. It's a community ground for families. So we start from actually the first part, what's here? It's here the building and, and, and the pond. And then we ex extend to this part with the, with the basketball court and the, how do you call this? The place that you grow vegetable. And then after, I mean for the, the, the deal with Son is the, I don't know how to call that. Son Pa, what's that? Woodland? Wood? Forest? Not, not, not that, that much, woods, some kind of. Mm -hmm. um, same thing, we use these old materials. I mean the whole, the whole every building in this Minobori uh, made, made from these materials. Because when we move the house, we move the office, these are all from the office and some other buildings. All, all the steel will be used in Minoburi, all the timber, the wood, uh, were used in, uh, in the new house, for the new house. So this is their old material. Thank you. <laughs> now it doesn't work to go. So what? <laughs> okay, I try. So this is the, the, the view from the, <laughs> sorry about this. 
Okay. So you, you can see from the from the sky, the the building as the building are very thank you, very simple, because the. What what I try to do is try to make things that you know, very simple, very easy for me, and for everyone, for the cup, for the builder to to build. So I just um, how to call that adopt the uh, when when you ask the children to draw a house, they will draw just you know like a square and triangle. So I just we just use that and make it like a small village. And each, each building has its own function. But the thing is we try to, to how to call that, to let everyone involve, or everyone in the family uh, can use this space. So the, the building, the, the blue, the, oh sorry, the blue building is a bar. Start from a bar, you know, selling wine and beer and all kind of thing. We got this bar thing. We got basketball court. We got this multi-purpose. Um, I don't know how to call that warehouse building. You know, a big one. We got this. We call mini mino. It's a kid play area, small, very small. So we have like a a door for children as well. The, the yellow door also from my old house. Mm -hmm. So this is inside, inside the, uh, the play area of the kids. So all the black and green wall can be, how to call that, written or drawn on using chalk. So what I try to do is just to put less toy as much as possible. So I just want them to use their imagination to enjoy, to, you know, do their work. And this is in the multi-purpose building. So this, this space can be used as a gallery, uh, workshop, or whatever that you use for party, big party. And this is a bar, you remember the blue, the blue building. So, so this is inside. Uh, I have to tell you one thing. Uh, the one who runs these, you know, like uh, for example, the bars, the steak shop, uh, Mini Mino, or even the restaurant are all friends, you know. I never get any profit so far. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to be closed. So. Please come when you come to Thailand. Please visit us. <laughs> Help a bit. <laughs> and this is a restaurant. This is a family restaurant. It's called Mama's Kitchen. We use vegetable and eggs from our own. I don't want to call farm, but it's a. It's not really a farm. It's a garden, something with ducks and hens and everything. We don't have a cow yet. We discussed yesterday, but we might have a cow. <laughs> we, we got also a, a cafe. So we got everything for everyone. So this is the, the, the garden, the green area, in the back of the, the, the project. These are like a vegetable grown in, the, in our project. So the kids can come and collect whatever they like. And we sell eggs also, if you like. We got, uh, we got hens, we got ducks. I started, you know, from six hens. Now I got almost 100. And we, I, we, I, I got 50 ducks. Mm -hmm. So you can see the, the space, we try to encourage them to use their outdoor space. So you can see from this, you know, everyone can use the space. And we try to create activity that can, you know, how to call that, attract everyone uh, to, to use and to enjoy. So we have like a music in the garden, we got mini concerts and all kind of thing. Yeah. 
I got even my own beer. <laughs> maybe it's not good to show this now. Maybe I got censored. I mean, if we do it in Thailand, maybe I have to put the kind of mosaic, you know, on it. It's not supposed to show all kind of alcohol things. You know. So I just want to show you the atmosphere, what, what's going on in this almost bankrupt uh, project. <laughs> We got a good steak if you want to come during weekend. We sell everything, all kind of alcohol, drinking. So it's not very, I don't want to call this green project or, you know, organic farm or organic place, but it's a place for everyone. We got good food for sure. And we got this activity all the time, and we try to communicate with the local, with other people. We, we have like a poster, you know, to put everywhere in the area to, and also on the internet, you know, to tell what's going on, and then you can come and join us. And all the, the musician, musicians are friends, our friends. And we use also the, the white building for this activity, you know, like a dancing, practicing. We got even a ballet class on Thursday afternoon. We got yoga class, we got everything. But why we don't make any profit, I don't know. <laughs> and these are some of the posters that we we, we've done so far. We got like a Loikotong festival. We got a workshop for like a handmade pattern design. We got like a day camp. We got book binding workshop. We got mini artist class. We got the flea market. We got dollhouse workshop. Everything, even the, how to call that, uh, carpenter. I don't know how to call that. The wood carpenting, carpenter, whatever. Yeah, workshop. And these are some of the activities. You know, mostly we involve so many kids. You have to, to understand that this Minobori is in the outskirts of Bangkok, you know, in a residential area. And in Bangkok, it's not like other country, not like many countries. We don't have this kind of public space for, for everyone. So what I try to do is try to create this kind of space for everyone in the area. So from, you know, on the, this, this is our birthday party for the kids, not the kids, the baby, how to call that? Just one year old, still called baby, right? Yeah, the whole group of one year old babies, <laughs> you know? What they need is just like a empty crowd, empty floor, and then they can enjoy their cake, you know. And we need the kind of place that they can wash, the mom can wash them, you know, from head to toe. It's quite fun, it's quite fun. And we got all, all, we got all kind of workshop, you know. And this just happened last week, last weekend. We had, uh, flea market, and this also open for kids, for children to open their own shop. It's very, very fun. It's very fun. That's it. Okay, so we move very fast to, I try to make it in time. Uh, we try, um, we move to a house. It's another keyword for community work, it's a house. This is a project that I developed after I, I finished Minoburi, you know, the, the, com the community ground for families. It's affordable and prefabricated house that I'm developing now. Very cheap. But what I try to do is, even if it's, it's, it's affordable, but the owner can still design their own uh, way of living. So I made blocks, you know, wooden blocks like this, and it costs like this, you know, so it's the, the, the price, the price is fixed. 
So whenever you put the blocks, and you can calculate the cost of the house every time you put the blocks. You can calculate your your cost of house. And this how it works. How it works. So the owners and the family members can you know help designing a house. You know arrange the block. I mean the space and all kind of thing. Yeah. So when when the client come. So we introduce this, and then we do this together. And then this is the way we produce the house. We we made like a panel and floors in a, I don't want to call factory in a place somewhere. And then, yeah, you can see the elements of the of the house. Very simple. We use like a steel tube. Very simple and our cement board. And then when it's ready, we just put here and then trans transfer to a site. And then we finish on site like this. And it takes only three months in total from designing, you know, make a plan and then complete complete the house. And I show you some samples of finished house. So this project is the first project that we did. It's in Udon Thani, in the northeastern of, of Thailand. So from a model like this done by the owner, we draw the plan together, and then we built it. It's uh, on the, how to call that? It, it was a sugar cane plantation. So there was no tree, but now they, they plant many trees now. Yeah. And this is a very small house. It's a house of um, a guy who has to go to his hometown very often to look after his, his auntie, his uncle, who is very old. So this is a very small, it's more like a studio type, just bed and toilet. <laughs> this is so bright. So when he chose the color, I was so worried. <laughs> you know, this house, you know, the owner can choose their own color. First he said, like, I want pink. <laughs> and as, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, there's no such a pink metal sheet in, in the area. So I said, oh, we don't have pink metal sheet. Can we use red instead? He said, yes, yes, red is fine. But I was still so worried about this, you know. But anyway, he's complete. And he's happy. So he's happy. I'm happy. So it's OK. It's his house, not my house. No? <laughs> so you see, so bright. It's a red dot. I call this lead, uh, this little red house in the wood. <laughs> and this is another project in Nontaburi. Also, uh, the owner, you know, arranged the blocks by, them, by himself and by themselves because he got a wife, one wife and one kid. Yeah. And this is the plan. And this is when it's finished. Almost finished. I never, I never take um, any completed, you know, house. I mean, any completed project of of mine. That's very strange one. So when I have to do this presentation, I have to look for, you know, some photo that can can be presented. You know, all uh, all of this photo. Taken by my mobile phone. So this is uh, when when it's complete. This is also another one I show you. This is quite big. This is quite big. It's so big. It's in in Park Chong. It's more like a second home for for a family who has so many friends. And uh, this is a kind of vacation house. And the cost of the interior, the furniture, is more than 
the cost of the <laughs> the building. It's so sad, no? <laughs> so this is when it's almost finished. So you can see the, the color, no? That, uh, they chose this metallic thing, you know. And it, this this wooden thing is supposed to be a wine cellar for 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 the husband. You know, we use like a, how to call that? Call it Shingle roof tie, something like this. No? That's it. So oh, so quick. Wow, too quick. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the last. So another word that you find a lot in community work is a tool. It's not a hammer or a saw or, or you know, or pencil or ruler. A tools, a tools means a method, I don't know how to call that, you know, to bring people together or to achieve something. Yeah. Ah, this is so nice. I work with the Sea Gypsy community in Phuket. Uh, this community got so many problems so far. Uh, they were there before. I mean, um, the problem with these sea gypsies is that they live on the land. You know, they live in the, how to call that? They, they, they use their boat. Usually, sea gypsy, you, you travel around in the sea. And during monsoon season, you have to settle somewhere, you know. Uh, on, on, on land. And this land, when uh, people can issue for their right, you know, like uh, to get a deed, or I don't know how to call that. But these people, they are sea gypsy. You know? They said, you can own skies, land, or sea. So they didn't register anything, and then later they become illegal on their own land. And they got threatened to, you know, to be evicted from their own land. But anyway, uh, after, after some time, when they got like a push, 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 push away, like a, so they become like a pack together, you know, become very packed, very congested, con congested, no? So, become slum, become slum. And sadly that, you know, all of children that got parasite, you know, parasite, because it's, it's on the beach, it's near the sea, they walk barefoot all the time. And because of the condition of the area, it's so bad, you know, no sewage system, nothing, you know, no uh, food path, nothing, uh, full of garbage because they're, they're um, how to call it, uh, they are illegal. So it's like a no such a service for them. So after working for quite some time, I was forced to be there. <laughs> to be there uh, to do like a community improvement project to improve their living condition. So I enter this community. This is the best part. I got uh, worse than this, but I, I, I couldn't find the, the, the picture. Anyway, it's good for you, otherwise you'll be so scared. So. We try to encourage them to get rid of all the garbage and thing, you know, clean, clean the community. They, they are very, very nice people, very funny people. They said, yes, okay, we do. And then nothing happened. <laughs> I said, let's clean the, the house. Yes, good. And nothing happened. I just laughed. So what I found is that I found this, you know, everywhere. You can see the hanging, hanging um, clothes. I found that they wear like a very colorful, colorful clothes. I mean, everywhere I go, it's like a very colorful 
uh, t-shirts, shorts, pants, sarong, whatever. So I just guess that maybe they like colorful thing. Why don't we we ask them instead of you know cleaning the garbage, cleaning the house, cleaning the community, let's paint the house, you know, colorfully. Is it? Oh yes, yes. Let's paint it. So we managed to get a map of the community, and then they come to and use like a very easy use the crayon to to paint, you know, their houses on on the map. And the, the children enjoy so much also with this activity. And then you can see that they choose very, very bright color. So after that, I managed to, to how to get that, to have this uh, color for them. It's so amazing. This is how they, they paint their house. They, they they choose their own color. I didn't I didn't tell them which color. No, they they just match the colors by themselves. And I found this very very nice. And this process took only one night for to complete twenty six houses. You know, I told them. I talked to them, I encouraged them to clean the house for weeks, for months, nothing happened. Only, only painting house, you know, with the paints, one night they clean all the garbage. Because in order to paint a house, you have to clear all the garbage, you know, surround it, the house. So you 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 be able to to paint a house. You have to clear all the garbage. So one night, twenty six houses were done. So you can see the the colors. It's very nice. You can see also the the t-shirts, no, the pants of the boy just match the house. Very nice. And this is what happened when when it's finished. So you can see, I'm, I'm so sure you, you all don't dare doing this, no? <laughs> Put this color with those color, no? They are so brave and, with this. And this, you can see the colors. I was so amazed when, when I see this. How, how could they, you know, manage to put purple and, uh, you know, lime green and, and the blue together like this. And with this, even these, you know, they managed to left the, you know, the metallic up there because it's still new. So you just paint the, the old down there with uh, purple and red and a bit of yellow, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's a plastic back hanging or what? Okay. I think that's it. This is less than an hour. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very Tata. much. I, I hope you, you get something, you know, out of these four words, no? A family, a community, a house, and a tool for community building. Thank you very much. <laughs>